Hi everybody, Shelly here. So, do you think gritting has to be hard and full of math? Well, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't. Let me show you in today's video how to make gritting easy. I'm gonna show you two ways to do gritting. One with your reference image pulled up on your computer screen using Photoshop, and the other with an eight and a half by 11 printout and a clear plastic sleeve. Okay, we're going to grid our reference image and we're going to grid it into quarters. I'm going to start, I'm using Photoshop. I'm using the new guides. I'm gonna start with the 50% vertical and just hit new guide. We're going to do the 25% vertical and the 75% vertical. So those are our vertical lines. And now we want to get our horizontal lines. Again, I like to start with 50%. I like to work out from the middle. And then we'll get our 25% horizontal and our 75% horizontal. And there you have your quarter inch gridded reference material. Now, a word of caution, if you're printing out your reference image and using the eight and a half by 11 inch reference printed and you want to draw your grid lines, but you're going to paint your uh, painting on a 12 inch by 12 inch square canvas like we're demonstrating here today, you're going to want to draw your grid lines as if your reference image was laying on the 12 inch by 12 inch. Okay, maybe you prefer to work from a printed out reference image. No problem, I got you covered. You can work from an eight and a half by 11 printed directly from your uh, home desktop printer and put it in a clear plastic sleeve. Okay, so you know you're going to paint your portrait on, let's say, this 12 by 12 panel. So, what I wanna do is take the eight and a half by 11 and just see how it'll look on there. So that'll look good. What you wanna do is make your marks on your canvas. It's a 12 inch canvas, so we're just gonna go in the middle here at six inches, like so. And there you have your vertical center line. Then we know half of that on each side will give us the other two lines. So you should have three lines going vertically. Now we're gonna find the center point will be right there. There's your horizontal. And we're gonna make two more marks there. And right there. Okay, so we're gonna pretend those lines are drawn directly on the canvas. And now you would decide with your eight and a half by 11 photograph in this protective sleeve, so you can see, I put this, it's just on a regular piece of paper for demonstration purposes, but if it were photo paper, it'd be a little firmer. So that's in the protective plastic clear sleeve. And I think I would want it to be positioned about right there for my portrait. So with that in mind, I'm not gonna move it. I'm gonna draw the lines. And it's kind of easy because you can see where the lines on the canvas are right across my reference. So since the horizontal lines are easy to see, I'll do those first. So we're pretending as if we were marking our eight and a half by 11 photo reference as if it had been printed on 12 by 12. 
My printer won't do that. I don't know about your printer. But this way, it's easy. So I can see my center line on the canvas. So I'm gonna just line those marks up like so. And then we'll just measure. So that would be our center. And we know we need a, another line at the third and the nine. I'm looking to see my straight line. There we go. You want to take your time with this. You want your lines to be accurate and they need to match up to what's on your canvas exactly. That is key. That's what makes this method of gridding so easy because it ends up being a one-to-one -one measurement. So with your proportion tool, we can check it. So we know that this center line is gonna match this box, which it does beautifully. And this height of box matches here. And what you're focusing on, since we've kind of left the outsider edges, the outside of the portrait, open to interpretation, you don't have to really worry about where the flower and the hair fall. It's not really that important. You can be artistic with that part of the portrait. But to have a likeness, it's important to know where your eyes need to be, your nose, your mouth. And this is a simple grid, and it's just divided into quarters. Now, if you wanted to make the grid more specific, you could div keep dividing and get more placement marks, but you would wanna do that again on your canvas. I just like to have something to work from. So this grid works, especially when you're using a proportion tool to see where things line up and I'll be sure to go over how to use the grid in next week's video. So stay tuned for that. All right, so that's gridding made easy using an eight and a half by 11 printed out photo reference. So set up your grid lines to be in line with whatever size canvas you're going to use. Okay, let's set the zoom percentage so we can get our grid lines to match what we see on the computer screen. Right now, the zoom uh, is too short. The grid lines do not match when we check it to our proportion tool. Increase the zoom and until your grid lines match what you have measured from your actual canvas. We did the vertical lines, now let's do the horizontal line. So here you can see what we have on the canvas and our zoom is perfect. It matches the horizontal grid line as well. Now jot down the percentage of zoom and keep it near your computer so when you zoom in, you know what to zoom back to. And it's very important that the grid lines on your canvas match the grid lines on your computer screen because we will be doing one-to-one -one measuring. So make sure they're equal. Step one, marking the grid lines. You'll need your ruler, proportion tool, pencil or chalk, and a square canvas 12 inches by 12 inches. Let's begin by finding the center line. I'm going to place my ruler at the top and look for the six inch mark, which is the middle of 12 inches. I'm using the Prismacolor erasable colored pencil to mark my lines with. You can use a pencil or chalk, whatever you prefer. I'm going to make another mark at the bottom of the canvas so I can connect the two center dots, creating our center grid line. Make your marks light. You don't want it to show through in the finished portrait. Now we have our center vertical line. Step three, we're gonna find the three inch and nine inch marks and then connect those dots just as we did with the center line. After you mark those, then go ahead and flip your canvas over and repeat that step so that you again get the three and nine inch mark. Then after you have those two marks down, you can go ahead and connect them. If you have a T-square, 
you might want to use that. That could work to keep your lines straight. Again, connecting my dots with a light touch so that my lines don't show through on the finished portrait. Now you should have three vertical lines with equal distance between them. So for step four, we're going to repeat that process and this will give us the three horizontal lines to make up our complete grid. I'm doing this on my vertical stand easel so that I can film it for you. It may be easier for you to make your grid lines on a flat table. Our grid lines are there just to keep our portrait in check. It's going to make sure that our head doesn't get too big or too small. Okay, you should have a completed grid now. So let's compare the grid lines on our canvas to the grid lines on our computer. They should match exactly. We want them to be the same because we are going to be using comparative one-to-one -one measuring with our proportion tool as we're painting. So if they're not equal in size, our painting won't be painted correctly. You can use your ruler to compare the grid lines on the canvas and the computer, but you could also use your proportion tool, whichever one suits you better. You may even want to double check using both. I'd say it looks like everything is lining up perfectly. We're going to be able to use our one-to-one -one measurement with confidence. Whatever we measure on our computer screen will be the exact same measurement on our canvas. Here you go, the final grid. Looks great and we're ready to paint. So here's another thing you can do with an eight and a half by 11 reference that you print out at home with a clear plastic sheet and a grid. So let's say you're painting a figure that's full size, but you really are kind of needing a little extra help with getting the likeness in the head that you're painting. You can put the same size head that you're going to use in this figure painting in the computer and print it out. So as long as, pretend this is her head, <laughs> as long as the heads are exactly the same size, so you'd want an eight inch long head, so you'd measure this with your ruler or your proportion tool. So you'd make sure that they equal the same height and width, you can check. So they would be matching. So you haven't painted it yet. It's just the white canvas. So you'd go ahead and make an eight inch box and right where her head will be. And then you would grid the eight inch box. So you'd make a half, a middle mark, a quarter mark and a three quarter mark. Do that vertically and horizontally, just like we did here. And then you could hang your reference image right there next to it where you're painting and you could work on them using your proportion tool and one-to-one -one measuring because this would be her head exactly the same size with exactly the same size grid marks here would be matching here and it would help you to capture the head in your full figure painting cool so that makes gridding easy even when you're working on a full size figure so just remember, it's super important that the grid on your canvas is exactly the same size as the grid on your computer screen or the grid that you've drawn on your eight and a half by 11 reference photo. So look for the next video where I will show you how to use the grid. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.